Hey guys, what's up? Cobra Axes and Allies here. Um, today I'll just be uh, talking about some of my uh, new roundels that I've been making for Axes and Allies. Uh, so, basically what I've done is, um, uh, uh, at school, there's a, a laser cutter. So, I made this file of, it's about uh, 250 of these um, 3 fourths inch um, black circles. I think they're about a uh, fourth of an inch thick. Um, then I've uh, primed them and sprayed them all black. You can see a few of them uh, um, didn't get cut out so well, but uh, it's the flat top side that matters. Um, you can see over here, I have a few that are not primed yet, but uh, are just basically a thicker roundel and uh, they look really good um, once they're sprayed up in a gloss paint um, they'll be really nice uh, looks really bright on the camera but it's a little duller in real life one thing that um, I'm not really happy with is the fact that this uh, 3 fourths inch, inch hole punch that I've been using to cut out all of uh, these um, circles that I've made is that the uh, either the three fourths hole punch or is a little bit too big or the circles are just a little bit too small but there's a slight you can see over here where the white is there's a slight over overlap basically where the paper um, overlaps onto the uh, circle and I'm trying to figure out um, how to negate that I may just paint that uh, white spot black and then seal it with the uh, clear coat and hopefully that works and I'm um, helping it not to peel or anything um, yeah so uh, I've also made this file um, full of all of these pretty much almost every roundel that you're gonna need for axes and allies and global 36 uh, I'll show you that in a second, and I'll probably have a file down in the uh, in the description that you guys can use. Uh, yeah. So basically, what my process has been is taking these roundels and then um, gluing these um, papers to them. Now, for the glue, I'm using um, Elmer's school glue, but I'm not really sure if this is going to work because some of these are um, peeling a little bit. So. Hopefully either the clear coat will negate that, or if you guys have any recommendations for a good, um, a good kind of cheap glue that, uh, like has a really, really strong bond, um, you could leave that down in the comments below, because, uh, I have a crazy glue, that's what I use to, um, for my aircraft carriers and stuff like that, but it's just extremely expensive to be buying a ton of small bottles for all of these roundels. Um, another thing I've been doing for my smaller nations is this, where I'm basically taking a bunch of... Uh, I have a ton of Axes and Allies games, so what I'm doing is taking a, a few of the roundels. I think I'm doing f stacks of four, and that... Um, almost perfectly matches the height of the normal uh, roundel and I'll just paint these edges black uh, you can see here this one's gonna be an Anzac roundel but just to save on um, the amount because uh, even though I've made uh, 250 of these roundels there's a lot of these extra roundels like these are SS um, for SS infantry and then um, here's Africa Corps and I'll show you the uh, the roundels that I've I've printed out and there's definitely a lot for all the neutrals and everything but uh yeah hopefully I can solve that glue problem but that's pretty much to it all to, all there is to it um if you guys wanted to download this file uh um a few things you could do is either have a laser cut circles like this another recommendation is to do this method of just gluing roundels on top of each other and then just gluing a paper on top uh, the paper roundel or uh, pennies are the exact um, size of these roundels so if you want you could just glue them on top of the penny 
and then call it a day. Gives it some weight too. Um, yeah, but um, here I'll show you the um, rest of the files that so I have. Here you can see the um, rest of the files or the pages that I have of these. Um, some of them uh, I won't be needing. Like I might just glue. Uh, that method that you saw of gluing round holes on top of each other, I might do that for like things like Japan and such. But there's a few other ones that are new. Like you can see all of these um, neutral nations. And when you download the file, uh, you don't have to use all these, of course, but they're there if you need them. Uh, here's all the Fr French and Vichy France. Uh, here's a few of the... Um, Canada at War, which I'll be having in my new Axies and Allies Global 40 game this weekend. A few radiation markers. Over here I've got some nuclear blast markers for, um, for um, nuclear, basically just nuclear expansion. Tons more roundels. A few odd-shaped ones. Um, some of these are for elite infantry, like you can see here. These are for uh, the elite of the um, Soviet Union. And then um, uh, I think these are supposed to be Manchuko um, Imperial Guards, if I want to use that expansion. Here's a few um, Spanish Civil War Dutch roundels. But uh, yeah, you can see I've got a ton of work ahead of me in gluing these and uh, getting them ready. But um, being that uh, Axies and Allies uh, or Global 36 is coming out sometime in the winter, I've got a good amount of time to get all these done, and they're going to be looking really good. And probably saving me a ton of money, because if you look on HBG, you can buy these um, thick roundels similar to what I'm making, and a pack that gives you all the Allies um, roundels costs about $80. So you can imagine how much it would cost to... Uh, get all of these neutral roundels. It'd probably be, I think I've done the math, uh, somewhere in the 200 to $250 range. Um, yeah. But, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have a link in the description, uh, hopefully, that'll lead you to all these, and, um, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and, um, I hope that I've inspired you to possibly save some money and, uh, spend some time, um, creating your own customizations for Axis and Allies. Thank you for watching. Cobra, out.